guys, it's Choma here, back with another video. And for today, I am sharing with you guys how I have created this lovely, lovely look. This is a short four lock look that is a great protective style. So I'm going on a long weekend and then it's just coincidental that I'm going back to France. And if you guys remember, the last time that I did four locks, I did like the longer version of the four locks and I traveled to Nice, but this time I'm going to Paris. So I just wanted something that was going to be quick for me to be able to do well relatively quick it was a cute protective style and it just so happened that I wanted to do the four locks again I've seen the four locks on a number of people and I was like oh we might as well like give it a go and so here we are now I got a number of quotes for doing four locks here in London because I was feeling a little bit lazy and I was like I don't really fancy doing this again on my own I feel like it was a long long process the last time I tried it so I got a quote and that quote was not in budget it wasn't in my budget for me to be able to actually part with my coins my monies especially as I'm currently fun employed so it's like mm, no like a hundred and something is way way out of budget so I was like you know what let me just try and find like the quickest easiest way for me to be able to do this because the last time I spent two full days doing my hair and I didn't want that and so this video is all about that so stick around if you want to be able to see how I got it done all right guys here we go Okay guys, so like I said, I wanted to be able to create something that was going to be very, very quick and simple by way of doing the four locks. So that's the reason why I decided to go for like a shorter look. So I did like a bob, well have done a bob as you guys can see, as opposed to the longer length four locks. Especially because again, I'm not keeping them in for that long as well. So I'm only going to keep this in for like about a, a week. So I was like, okay, first can't part with that kind of point if I'm only keeping my hair in for like a week and you know I wanted something that was going to be quick so I decided to go for a bob I scoured YouTube absolutely scoured YouTube to have a look at the latest like techniques or something that was going to be very quick for me to be able to like do with this look and so out of all the videos that I watched I found two videos guys that were so 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 helpful and I will link them down below so one video was from Kemi XO and the second video was from Courtney Camille these two ladies shout out to you guys thank you so much much for actually giving me ideas in terms of how I can be quick about doing my hair and then the best hair to be able to use as well so Kemi gave me the best technique which was the rubber band method and then just twisting in the hair that was so 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 quick guys and I will show you guys how I actually got it done because that to me was like a game changer I didn't want to crochet I didn't want to do the braids down and then again crochet and all of that kind of stuff I definitely wanted to have like single four locks that I can move about and not have to worry about tracks and stuff I just <laughs> I used to crochet guys I just, I'm not really a fan of it anymore um, and so like Kemi XO just babe yeah that was you in it um, and then Courtney Camille actually gave me the idea about the hair because I was like the next thing was all right if I'm gonna do this like am I gonna try and find like singles already done in like packs in the hair shop because there's this one hair that I wanted to use the Bobby Boss one and that already comes pre-packed in the like the four lock but obviously can't find it here in the hair shops in the UK well in the ones that I went to here in London anyway and so I was like you know what like I'm gonna have to DIY this I'm gonna have to do the whole process from the beginning but I wanted to be able to find the right hair and that's what Courtney Camille gave me because I ended up using this Jamaican locks hair and I was just like <laughs> guys this is a game changer it's an absolute game changer oh my gosh and so yeah this is pretty much me showing you guys how how I actually went about getting these four locks done and I hope you enjoy this video I hope you find it useful of course do subscribe so hit that red button to subscribe if you aren't already subscribing and turn on the auto notification bell and that way you know every single time I post a video this is me just getting it all prepped and ready to go before I go on holiday and all of that good good stuff so I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> So for this particular wash day, I was using the Africa's Best Textures range. So I used the shampoo and conditioner to cleanse and condition, and of course went ahead to moisturize and seal in with the rest of the products that you will see later. For the hair, I used the Sensational African Collection Jamaican Locks in 1B. You see three packs here, but I ended up using four packs in total. The fourth pack hasn't completely finished. I probably used a few strands from the fourth pack 
but just so you guys can gauge how much hair you can stretch out of either between three to four packs. I also needed some rubber bands and then some yarn to be able to decorate and style at the end as well. So after a few hours, this is how my hair is looking and I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I go ahead and actually do the locks with this one last section that I have to do. As you guys know, it's always a relief when you get to that one last section. So this is me showing you guys how I actually go ahead and do this process itself. For me to moisturize, I use the Africa's Best Textures Moisturizing Buttercream. It was very, very important for me to be able to keep my hair well moisturized during this process because if, if anybody knows about locks, they dry out quite quickly. You need to pick a good moisturizer to ensure that um, your hair is well moisturized underneath. I then went in with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush just to be able to detangle and then finally sealed using the Africa's Best Textures Jamaican Black Castor and Argan Oil. The combo between the buttercream and the oil itself from Africa's Best just what absolute wonders to keep my hair well moisturized through this process. Now this is the part that everybody I'm guessing is here for. It's the technique of how I actually put the locks together. So with that particular section, I split that into two and make it as equal on either side as possible. I then grab half a strand of the Jamaican locks. So the Jamaican locks are quite long. So I split that into two for me to be able to do the twists with because of the bob. So it wasn't necessary for me to have the twists as long. And I go ahead and place that particular strand in between my hair and then close off with the rubber band. Band. This saves so much time guys closing off with a rubber band because you're not fussing with braiding and it's very much beginner friendly like if you're a novice at braiding this is the technique for you. Now you don't want to make the rubber band too tight because you're going to lock that in so that bear that in mind that hair underneath there should still be able to move about. I then go ahead and start twisting as you guys can see all the way down until I'm happy with where it is with the length. You then want to go ahead and grab a full length of of the Jamaican locks to then start locking in that particular twist. And here, as Kemi XO suggested, you wanna go ahead and wrap at least five times at the root before you actually start twisting down. You don't wanna make it too tight to where it causes tension, but you want it secure, as secure as possible while you're twisting down. So you will always gauge how loose the particular lock is or how tight it is as you work your way down. And then bear in mind, these are going to be locks that will be slightly heavy when you first get them done so they will feel quite tight and they will feel quite stiff but they do loosen up after a few days and what I go ahead and do is just twist and twist and lock and lock all the way in until I get to the bottom. When I get to the bottom, I grab another piece of lock to just be able to measure the length of how I want that particular lock. And then once I'm happy at that point, I then start to lock upwards. So I actually go all the way down and then lock upwards once I'm happy with where the length is for that particular lock. And then I lock all the way in until that particular strand for the Jamaican lock is completely done, guys. I don't cut away at the strand I'm locking in. I just simply keep twisting it in, keep locking it in until the hair is done. I then go ahead and wrap it in securely and rub away. And that is all I do, guys. No need to burn, no need to glue, guys. This hair is literally like a gem. And then once that's locked into place, I just grab my scissors and then I cut the ends. And that's pretty much it guys so once my hair is done this is how it is looking it does feel a little bit stiff a little bit tight but I know it will loosen up and all that is left for me to do is just dip that in some hot water just to be able to loosen the locks and just to soften them a bit they do tend to get a bit heavy so it's always good to dip them in hot water as a disclaimer as a caution please be careful when you are dipping any kind of braids or locks in hot water I'm giving you this example here but the mister actually ended up helping me with dipping at the back and some of the locks I really couldn't reach properly but yeah just be very very careful when you're doing this and even better get somebody else to do it for you
Then of course I couldn't leave this video without showing you guys how I do my edges using Africa's Best Textures Ultra Smooth Edges. Of course it's always the icing on the cake to be able to finesse your edges after you've done a protective style and it was no different for me. So Africa's Best actually have this two way brush comb combo which works amazingly to finesse the edges. And this is how my hair was looking once I was completely done, edges laid. And at the moment, you know, as you guys can see, it was pretty much just, you know, just plain. And I could have left it like this, but I'm always boring Jane. And I never really do a lot of exciting things like try new colors and stuff like that. So I did on this occasion decide to decorate, <laughs> which is a lot of fun for me to be able to do because I don't usually. And so I grabbed my yarn braid accessory thing that I got from the hair shop. And I decorated a bit. Um, I also had some beads, some gold beads, and some other gold trinkets in a sense. I'll call them trinkets because I don't really know what to call them. Trinkets that I actually went ahead and decorated with. And this was it. This was the finished look. guys and that is a wrap from me I hope you've enjoyed this video honestly guys it for me was so so simple to be able to do didn't need to fuss with a braiding didn't need to fuss with crocheting did not need to fuss with burning my ends or gluing my ends like it was just so seamless so there are still some pieces that are a little bit loose even though I've wrapped around as you can see like the more thicker ones are like that and so what I'm just doing every so often when I notice that is just rubbing it back into place and it just goes back into place it's so so simple in that way like I mean I didn't not need to fuss at all with any of it at some point I did run out of hair and that's the reason why I had to get the fourth pack but again like that was me doing trial and error and seeing how much hair I was going to use and all of that good stuff but it's just been a simple simple process and I'm just so so happy with the result I'm happy that this time around I get to accessorize and pray for me that I don't go beeping beeping through the metal detectors at the airport <laughs> because of my little like metal pieces in my hair but I think it should be fine and that is about it guys I hope you've enjoyed this one do do share this video if anybody's looking for a protective style that they want to try that is different from like braiding or twisting four locks are your go-to so do do share this video if you can to anybody looking for new protective styles to try also do give this video a thumbs up comment below and hit that red button to subscribe guys I really really do appreciate your support and all of that good stuff so show your girl some love and hit that red button and turn on the auto notification bell that way you know every single time I post a video alright guys and until next time bye